Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Mu here. In this short little video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the APC Surge Protector Multi-Use. Mostly because it got on my radar because it's been on sale recently. So if you're interested in this at the end of the video, please check out my link down below to check out the latest prices on here. All right, the model I'm talking about specifically is the Surge RS Essential Model PE6U4W. All right, um, this actually is a real surge protector versus a surge strip, which means that if you actually get a power surge due to lightning strike or power suddenly coming a little bit too hot or too strong, this is gonna protect your equipment. In fact, this features a $50,000 EPP protection program uh, with a lifetime guarantee. So really they stand behind this product. APC is very well known here in the States and uh, I use a lot of APC products for servers and computers over the years. All right, this particular model actually has four USB charging ports and unfortunately it's a total of 4.8 amps. So even though you got four of them, uh, you can really only plug in two at full charged, like 10 watt charging capacity for let's say like iPads, et cetera, or even iPhones and get maximum. So even though it has four ports, total maximum is 4.8 amps. And I believe it's, it's split out as in about 2.4 amps maximum for each port. All right, so this has guaranteed protection against surge spikes and lightning. Uh, that's also something really great, which adds of course to the price. But what is unique of course, is look at the shape. This is shaped like a U and you can use it in a number of configurations. One of them is standing up like this, uh, take it out and they give you an example, putting around a monitor, uh, monitor stand, um, putting it just standing on the desk and clamping it to the table and sticking it on top of the cubicle. So that's kind of something that's very special and unique about this. And this is something that really piqued my interest because especially with the shelter in place and work at home order, we have more and more people requiring more power. And obviously I'm gonna recommend more protection in all cases, particularly with sensitive equipment. Maybe not so much with laptops, but you know, definitely desktops, any desktop USB hard drives that are externally powered, you're gonna want a surge protector in place. Okay, so this shows you a couple of the configurations in here, but really the heart of it is, um, is this component right here this piece right here. Now, there are specific dimensions that this will fit. Obviously, if it is wider than this, it's not going to go ahead fit. Also, you want it to at least go in somewhat deep in order for it to catch this leg, right? So we actually have a dining table that the lip only goes in this far, it's really not gonna hold. So in a case like that, that is definitely not gonna hold. But um, something like even this table might actually work, even though it's really, really slim. It'll at least kind of hold in place via gravity, but this, again, this piece won't really hold but you know there's something you can stick on um, some other piece of maybe some cardboard or some wood and um, to make up for that extra space on there so that's something that um, that you can get a little bit creative but what I really like is that it, it does expand your socket capability to six at a time and just looking at this you could probably fit about let's say four power bricks, one facing this way, one facing the other way, assuming that it's not a triple plong, one here and one there, and at the same time also get USB power. Now this actually has an on off switch over here and it'll let you know whether it's protected through this power um, indicator. Okay, when this goes out, of course, make sure that you know that's for some reason, um, it's, it's done with its useful life, okay? So you can go in and um, submit a warranty claim, hopefully get that replaced. On this side, there's not a whole lot, but this is important that this is also one of the unique features that makes it convertible is the fact that this plug-in cable can go out this way or go down below like this. So when you're attaching it somewhere. One thing also that I wish that they improved upon is that this will actually rotate, but it doesn't rotate. So it only fits in in one direction. All right. So keep that in mind. That was some, that was something that um, I, that you know I thought that they would have considered. But this is non-rotatable. This is straight up. Yeah, it's a little bit stronger this way. But I really wish that this was more rotatable, or at least did some sort of different angle so that it would be able to fit in most wall sockets a little bit better. So an example like this is if I had two of these type of plugs, which I actually do upstairs, um, I can only plug in one of them, right? 
then you'd have to daisy chain these uh, and it, it just wouldn't work out very well. Another important thing to consider is that with most of these surge protectors at most, you can probably only have 1800 watts plugged in at the same time, right? So if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna plug in toaster oven, that's just about pretty much it. You're not plugging the second appliance, it just can't handle it. And I don't know, for whatever reason, people don't really consider that. So if you have like a, like a really powerful server plugged in here, it takes like a thousand watts, you're not going to want to be plugging in anything else in here that might, you're not going to plug in two servers, for instance. That's just not rated to handle that. And it's not going to give you that protection. In fact, um, I don't know how this would handle it. It just probably wouldn't power on or you just wouldn't get any further protection. All right. So, so far, I've only used this to... Uh, uh, I'd say a couple of days. It's been working out pretty well. Some people have been complaining about another model of this one that has USB-C output. And keep in mind, if you have, if you get the one with the USB-C output, it's not going to have enough power to power your MacBook. I mean, th these things are going to put out maybe about uh, 20, 10 to 20 watts maximum across all four of the ports. So that's why I made a very special uh, case to talk about the maximum amount of outputs that 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 these uh, that these ports are going to have. You you really can't expect a whole lot of USB-C ports. Plus, at this point, this one's a little bit cheaper. It's running about thirty US dollars right now, and uh, you know I, I recommend. I think it's very versatile. It's definitely a way to help organize your plugs and expand more ports and bring the ports closer to you, particularly at a tabletop situation. And yet. Um, look a lot prettier than some of the other ones. This one's white, it comes in a gray and dark gray. This one's of course um, white and light gray. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you found this useful. If you're interested in it, please check out my link down below. Check out the latest prices. Again, the sale price that I've seen right now, going on right now, uh, uh, just checking through my link is roughly around 30 US dollars. You might be able to get a little bit cheaper through some other promotions. So be on the lookout for those too. It's worthwhile to check out. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Please give a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next video.